Today I have three huge announcements to make. First things first, I would like to talk about Panini for a little bit. A lot of you know the situation I found myself in with Panini earlier this year. I went to Nebraska, broke a case of product with uh, some other YouTubers, and uh, basically got shorted the lion's share of the hits in all the boxes. I've also been sitting on some redemptions that have lasted, uh, in some cases, eight, yeah, eight months. And I really was getting nowhere with any of the stuff. Uh, open cases, never heard anything back. Uh, quality cases, I mean, not the actual product cases. Uh, so I've talked to a couple of people at the Nationals, got a phone number and an email address for somebody, and uh, she took care of things. And I want to say she took care of things in a way indicative of how you really, really handle customer service. So I want to give a huge, gigantic, enormous thank you to Panini for taking care of that situation. They sent out six individual hand collated boxes to me, one for each of myself and the other five people. The person I dealt with went above and beyond, way above and beyond, and I want to tell you if you're watching, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the other five YouTubers as well as extending to the entire YouTube community the gesture that you know exactly what you're doing and how to take care of customers and let them know that you are sorry that a mistake was made or that you were ignored or whatever it is. That's all water under the bridge at this point. They did a marvelous job, a fantastic job of taking care of us. I still got those two outstanding redemptions we're working on, but I'm assuming that they're going to fix those in the same manner. Uh, neither of my redemptions are available, so I'm hoping to get um, equal value replacement cards here real soon. That's the first announcement. The second thing is, probably wondering what this giant countertop is covered with all of these items from my contest. Well, this is going to be my new register counter in my brand new liquor store that I will be opening in the middle of October. That's right, after 18 freaking months of being out of work, I'm opening a business and I'm going back to work. Demo starts on the existing space that I'm going to occupy this coming Monday. I signed a lease. I've been approved for a liquor license. I'm going to build a full service liquor store, beer, wine, and spirits. There'll be more to come on that later. I'm going to start a new YouTube channel for all of my customers. I am excited and thrilled to be back to work after 10 years of being Vice President of Marketing for Arby's Restaurants on the franchise side. A lot of you knew that, some of you didn't. I loved my job, they eliminated my job for the economy, couldn't find work, similar work, even close to similar work in the past 18 months. And so um, I believe in directing your own change in life. I gave it a go for probably an, ex an overly extensive amount of time trying to find a job before I finally decided nobody else is going to hire me, I'm going to hire myself, damn it. So uh, South Bridge Liquor is the name of my liquor store. It will be opening hopefully the middle of October and if I can't use my 10 years of operations experience and 14 years of marketing to make one lousy store a success, well then I probably shouldn't be doing anything. So uh, I wanted to share that announcement because I am absolutely pumped to go back to work again and quite frankly I'm going to be working a lot of hours so I'm going to be working 50, 60 hours a week building that store, getting it ready, and I will be in there working most of the time when it's up and running. So the fact of the matter is, uh, starting in a couple of weeks, I'm not going to be around YouTube as much anymore. I will still check in with an occasional video, but hey, life comes first. I know everybody relates to that. This is in no way is any kind of announcement that I'm going away. Just not going to be making nearly as many videos and doing as much stuff. So with that being said, let's segue to the third part of the video, which is the results of the contest, the unique items contest. And before I get to any of that, I just wanted to one more time go through a bunch of these items. So I'm just going to show you as they're all laid out. I'm not even going to try and say who sent what at this point because I won't be able to remember it all. I just want, to, want you to see what 72 submissions looks like 
on this countertop. And keep in mind, this countertop here, which will give you a pan out if possible, from that corner over to this corner, yeah, it's sitting in my garage because I can't get into my space yet. That's 12 feet long from that corner over there to this corner. That's what 72 items looks like. Without a doubt, the most fun I've ever had doing any contest. These items were personal. The stories were funny. The stories were captivating. In some cases, very emotional. And what was great is you got to know through video a lot more about the people that sent these items in than any of us ever knew. And I think that's what I enjoyed the most about this contest was getting to see and hear stories uh, about the personal part of a lot of these people's lives. And I'm just going to continue going over here. This was just a thrill for me doing this. There's the emotional one. Just some awesome, amazing stuff. Incredible entries, the video, the video card. Give each one of these things their due here. If somehow I missed one on the video here, just uh, scanning over really quickly, I apologize, but every item should be out here. 72 different items. The number, the guitar plate, Philly Breaks, Jersey. So pretty much there they all are. Now, put you back over here just for a second to announce how I'm going to handle this because it was really difficult for me to determine uh, a winner and how I was going to do what I said I was gonna, what I set out to do. Um, yeah, this is my garage, sorry. So there were a few entries that really stood out as above and beyond and I'm going to recognize them now. The first one of course I am 140, Ryan sending his Iron Man on behalf of his friend Andrea. Uh, Ryan will not be included in the prize pool. What I am going to do, however, is I am going to make a donation of $100 to the Live Strong organization in the name of Ryan's friend Andrea and on behalf of Ryan, I am 140. That meant enough to me to make a bigger deal out of that than any of these prizes. And there's a couple more that I'm going to grab here that also really meant a lot to me. I know I'm in the shadows here now, but the clip from Marvin, the stripes from Bobby AF Cop, and the hat from Alex Tressler, ATC, Army ATC 22, on behalf of each of these three gentlemen. I'm also going to make another $100 donation to the Veterans Fund. People that go above and beyond the call of duty and uh, share something like that with me, that really strikes a chord with me and so I feel that to be appropriate. Out of all of the other remaining items, nearly impossible to make some kind of a judgment or a decision. Uh, I probably would have went with this one the fire hose that Frank sent from his 22 days of uh, non-stop work in the fighting the fires in Arizona, but he said not to. So I'm going to honor that and re uh, respect that wish despite the fact that I really would have went that direction and instead I'm going to select Bauman 299 for the accomplishment of 14 299 games of bowling. Most people in their lives don't ever pick up a bowling ball, let alone roll anything over 200, but to have 14 299s and to share a piece of that, you will be winning uh, my favorite, aside from the ones I've already mentioned. And I'm going to cut now and go inside to do the rest of the randoms and show the prizes. Be right back. Put them into my shelf where I keep all of my memorabilia and all my 
sports stuff. I've created a couple of shelves, kind of rammed everything in there because there's so much stuff, but it will stay there for a long, long time. Now let's get to business, the randomization. There are 12 prizes, three from myself and the rest from other YouTubers. Uh, Tanbeer sent some in, TSDST5, uh, and I seriously, seriously apologize that off the top of my head here, I can't remember who sent the other cards. I will go back in the video and find out, but thanks to the other YouTubers for their thoughtfulness and my apologies to the person I can't remember. There are 71 entries, and I will random this three times. One, two, three. Now over here, here are the card prizes that I will show here at the end, as well as all of the X's that will make up 71 spots. I will match these up after three randomizations. One, two, three. Okay, so I want to minimize the screen now and try and match these up as close as possible. Should have done this on Excel, but my bad. Okay, so here we go. Funny enough, GC is me, 20007, 49ers fan, ends up getting the Frank Gore Super Swatch patch. I'll show these in a minute. Accordion Jacob gets the Steven Jackson dual two-color patch, Steven Jackson. Jayhawk1971 wins the Eddie George three-color patch. Johnny D. Baum wins a Peyton Manning one-color patch, uh, TSDST5. Tanvir wins a Michael Turner three-color patch. We need to go further down here now. Try and line this up. Where did we leave off? I am not matched up. Okay. 36. The Choice 22 ends up with a Matt Ryan two-color patch. Killebry with a Bo Jackson game used jersey. Biggie 2911 with a Roddy White autograph. Daddy 1824 Terrell Davis patch. Uh, I know he said he didn't want to win anything, so Frank, I'm going to leave that up to you to tell me who to send that to. Dominus Infinitus wins the Anthony Gonzalez Topps Triple Threads jersey auto. Sictifer 2024 wins a Joe Flacco auto, which is fitting. He's a Ravens fan. And Maine for Suez wins a Jimmy Clausen auto. And Bauman 299, the card I have selected for him to win, is a really nice Ryan Sandberg Signature Stars autograph card from, I can't see the year on there again, don't have my glasses on. But uh, that's a really nice card. So that goes to him. Here's the other ones that were just previously announced. Roddy White autograph, Bo Jackson jersey, Matt Ryan two-color patch, Michael Turner three-color patch. There is red in there. Eddie George three-color patch, dual two-color patch, Steven Jackson. Really sick three-color Frank Gore super swatch. Joe Flacco autograph. Jimmy Clausen autograph, Terrell Davis one color patch, Peyton Manning one color patch, and the tops triple threads, Anthony Gonzalez. Again, thank you to everyone who participated. Greatest contest ever in my opinion. And uh, if you want, if you for some reason don't want one of your prizes and you want it to go to someone else, please contact and let contact me and let me know. Otherwise, I can't thank everyone enough for how awesome they made this contest and um, that's it for now. I'll be back talking to you again sometime soon I'm sure.